Hi everybody, my name is Gijsbert Stoet and I'm a professor in the field of psychology and I'm also the creator of the SciToolkit platform. Today I want to give you a quick overview of what that platform can do for you. I just want to quickly go over the different features it has and then you can start looking yourself maybe what do you think this platform might be useful for what you want to do. So let me first say a little bit about who actually uses the platform. So the platform is predominantly used by psychologists, but also for people working in linguistics, in business studies, uh, and in the arts. It allows you to learn about psychology, to set up your own online questionnaires, and it also allows you to set up your own psychological experiments such as maybe the visual search task or the Stroop task. There are lots of cognitive tasks that can easily be implemented on the Side Toolkit platform. It also comes with a library of existing questionnaires and experiments that you can basically combine by using a plug and play way of working and then you can create your own uh, study. But even if you don't want to create your own study, you can learn about what online questionnaires can do for you. So for example, maybe you're interested in, you know, just say big five personality traits and you want to see what how you score on that, you can do that as well. So SciToolkit, I would say, is quite useful for learning about psychology as well as about collecting data. Further, SciToolkit is a one-stop shop. That means that if you use the SciToolkit platform, you do everything, you, or you can do everything in one place. You do not need to have a separate server or something like that. That's what we mean with a one-stop stop. You need to register if you use it for creating your own um, studies. You can delete your data from the system if you, if you want. Of course, you can download it from the data. The data are stored on uh, the Site Toolkit servers. Um, so let's go have a look at the website quickly. So the main website actually uh, says here, it's the world leading free platform for online psychological research and information. And I'm happy to say that uh, it is used a lot in research and there are currently almost a thousand uh, citations of uh, the site toolkit platform in academic uh, and other studies using Google Scholar. If you go to the main website, on the left you see a menu. Uh, so if I click on these items here, so you go to these different spots in the website. Uh, there's very good online documentation. I just mentioned it. There's a library of experiments and a library of questionnaires. So you do not need to build stuff from scratch. You can use existing pieces of it. And that's quite nice, especially maybe if you're a student or maybe if you say, well, I know what I want to do and I don't want to code it from scratch because I use existing material. So let's have a quick look at the library of questionnaires. Let's say, for example, you want to do a survey about, well, there are more than a hundred surveys on there. Uh, like you, you, on all sorts of topics, so that's quite nice. And I just bro, maybe you're interested in fear of spiders, or maybe you're you want to test how irritable you are. So if we click on that, there is a brief irritability test. Um, then if you run on it, you, you so you you read about what it is, who created it, then you can uh, ah, you can uh. Can click this uh, and then you know and also what it does it allows a way of scoring it and often site toolkit is very good in providing you with a score now I should make my face a little bit smaller so that you see more of the screen uh, right okay so let me go back to this uh, to the site toolkit main page there's also a li library of experiments that is similar you can scroll through it and these are all experiments that you can do online. Um, and you can click on it and see how it works. You can go in full screen by clicking this here if you want that. And then 
you know, like this stroop task. So it's yellow, you need to press the Y, well, it's too slow, the blue, and then, you know, and it knows whether you do it correctly or uh, or incorrectly, of course, if I say this is yellow, then oh, that is yellow, actually, of course. Uh, well, you, you get the idea. So you can do it yourself, and it's fun. Actually, it's fun. I think especially in teaching, uh, showing to students, for example, how things work, or if you're a student, seeing how, how these experiments actually work. We also, we have an active YouTube channel and we have the Twitter uh, channel, which is the best for uh, following SciToolkit news. Now, there is also a way to log in. So if you click here, you can create your own account and then you can create your own surveys and you own your own experiments. In this YouTube channel, there are lots of videos on how to actually do that. So have a look if you find it interesting. But the main idea is that uh, SciToolkit works uh, with scripting languages and uh, you need to learn them. And all the documentation on how to do that is online. And I have a feeling that people are actually quite good on doing that on their own. But of course, every system that you use will require some time that you need to spend before you can master it. But once you can master it, Site Toolkit is very flexible and you can combine surveys with experiments. If you have other questions, look at the FAQ. We have the frequently asked questions section or maybe just send me an email. Uh, and that brings me almost to the end. Um, and uh, so if you have a question, if you say, well, I would like to discuss this with you, I want to know something about it, send an email to sitetoolkit at gmail.com. The email is on the website as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please like and subscribe this channel.